Hello for Kimbo, I'm Kirsten from Indian Arts and Crafts Center and today I want to show you how to make this cool rustic sign with a snowflake on it. Let's get started. Let me show you what all comes in the kit. We have the wooden block, we have a paintbrush and a dauber, we have a plate, we have the paints in black and white, we have a couple of little pieces of tape, we have two snowflake stencils and we have a piece of sink paper. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to mix the background color. I like to mix like a really dark gray, something like this. But if you want to, you can also use just straight black. And as we're going to cover the block front and back and all the edges, you're going to need a good amount of paint. You want to stay fairly dark with your gray so the white will show up nicely if you go too light it's gonna blend in together then we're gonna paint our block you want to try to go with the grain of the wood Try to go all the way across in one brush stroke so you get a nice smooth surface. When you paint the edges on the sides where you paint the end grain, it's probably gonna need a little extra water to get nice coverage I usually paint one front and the sides and then I'm gonna let it dry so I can flip it over and paint the other side you can use a little container or something to set it on to dry Once you have all of your block painted, we're gonna have to set it aside to let it dry completely before we start sanding. Because especially the corners sometimes take a little bit longer to dry and you don't want them to be wet when you start sanding. Okay. Once this is completely dry, we can start sanding. You have your sandpaper, and for this step, you wanna make sure that you wear a mask. And then, you wanna hold your sandpaper fairly flat to your wooden block. And start on the corners. This is where, you know, you would get the most wear and tear over time. So to make this look a little distressed, we're gonna make sure that we take those edges off. And then how much you wanna take over the whole surface, that's up to you. You can do a little bit and look at it and then see if maybe you wanna sand some more or if you're good with the way it looks. You also want to get the edges a little bit and the corners here and the other side too because we're going to put a snowflake on either side. Yeah. Okay, so I think I've seen it all I want to see. Let me bring this a little closer you can, so you can see it better. Then what we want to make sure is that we wipe this down with a paper towel or something because there's a whole lot of dust still on there. And then I'm just going to clean this up a little bit and then I'm going to show you the next step. So now we're ready for the stencil. 
You're gonna take your stencil, you're gonna line it up on your block, and then you have those pieces of tape. So you can hold it in place. Then for this, we're gonna need a very small amount of paint. And with your dauber, you can hold this kind of over your finger, and then you just wanna put the center of it in your paint and spread this out on the plate a little bit so it looks like you have almost no paint on there if you have too much paint on there and you start dabbing it on here it'll spread out under your stencil so you just tap that on there carefully and hold your stencil down in the area where you're working And to get better coverage, we're going to let it dry and go over a second time. If you try to do too much at one time, you won't get a nice clear outline. And this dries really fast, so by the time we did all of it, we can just go back and put a second coat on there. where I'm putting the paint on. So I went over everything twice and then before you take off your stencil you can flip it up and look at it and see if there's any areas that you want to put a little more paint or if, if you think it's good then you can just take off your stencil. Then we're going to let that dry a little bit and we're going to do the same thing on the other side. I hope you had fun with this project. Come and get your own kit at Gennett Arts and Crafts. See you next time.